Yeah. What it do? How are you? What it do? What go on? It's the body god with the superbly supreme gleam. Now I mean, ding. Top two baldies and I'm not number two. Nah, not at all. Smoothest body on both sides of the Mason Dixon line. Yes, that's right. Body so smooth they can't believe it's not butter. Your host, Taryn Morgan, and welcome to another real quick talk. That's right, we are back. Back just like some of y'all fellas' headlines, you know. It's okay to let it go. You know what I mean? Like, if you back here with it, you, you got a little, but it's okay though, right? In fact, Ball Five Bald is now accepting applications. Ball Five Bald, we ain't got it. Anyway, now I'm just playing with y'all. But today, um, our episode is about love versus loyalty. Um, and again, this is real quick talk. So real quick conversation with the folks out there, the folk them. Um, of course, Instagram hating on me right now. What's good, Deshaun? What up, bro? Um, Instagram, Instagram's hating right now. You know, I can't do the razzle-dazzle. I like to have the different effects on there, all that good stuff. But, you know, we're going to make it happen. Um, anytime throughout this, let me know if you got any questions. Put it in the chat. I will get to you. The topic is love versus loyalty. So when I'm talking about love versus loyalty, right, we're not talking about just romantic relationships. But we're also talking about family, friends, all that good stuff, right? So, first off, I'm going to break down what it means for love and what it means for loyalty. And these are just my opinions, so, you know, it is what it is. But when I think about love, love is based on feelings and words, right? Um, it's easy to disregard boundaries. Oftentimes, pain is love, right? We, they use that as an excuse to do bullshit to people who, you know, they care about. Um, if you love me, you'll be my ride or die, etc. Right? So that's why I look at love. Um, with loyalty, it's more so based upon action, the integrity. This is right here, and I mean integrity over everything. The shirt actually will be back in the merch store. Uh, we're gonna talk about it a little bit later on, though, so it's all good though. But with loyalty, that is based on action, right? So doing what you say you're going to do, being accountable and responsible for your actions. So for me personally, I am a fan of loyalty because love does not mean anything to me at all. Um, I've had people violate who claim that they love me, family, friends, loved ones, you know. Um, it's more so easy to manipulate, especially when you're not able to look past the rose color glasses that we put on, you know. A lot of times we're conditioned to believe that you know, love is everything, but it's not, you know, there's more that goes beyond that. You know, what actions are you taking besides that? You know, um, I'm a fan of loyalty because it's based upon your actions. If you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. You can walk, you can talk that talk. A lot of people talk that talk, but not a lot of people actually walk that walk and execute. So that's what I prefer with loyalty because you can love somebody all you want, but you can still do some violating shit. So, um, you know, I'm, every time I speak about a topic, it's based upon my real life. So, you know, I wasn't always the outstanding gentleman that you see right now with the shiny body and all that. The light actually got kind of popping right now. I hope the Wi-Fi good for y'all so you can see it, so you can get the experience for your life, you know. But, um, yeah, I, it took me a while to really understand and to have loyalty and love ingrained within me to understand what it actually means, you know, to, to develop that character to really uphold the two because it's possible to possess both but are you moving with that that intent so uh, i'm a fan of loyalty however loyalty has a dark side there's a dark side to every single thing um so some people's perception of loyalty is yeah you shouldn't be loyal to me no matter what you know but it's more so they expect you to enable them when you're doing some they're doing some bullshit and to re agree with them with everything that they do right so when I look at loyalty, I want anybody that's around me to be their best person. You know, Jay-Z said it best. When your circle's strong, nobody, I forgot the line, but it's something about that, you know. So it's more so, you know, holding people accountable, helping them grow. Because sometimes you do not, what's good, Jen? What up, what up, what up, what up? Sometimes you do not know when you're doing some bullshit. Um, for me, I did not know what I did not know what I did not know what I did not know. This country, um, capitalism, just everything in general um, it conditions you to really just 
look at loyalty and to just ride out with people no matter what and not hold them accountable. And oftentimes that allows for people to become sheep and to be easily manipulated, right? So when I look at loyalty, there's the other side to it, you know? Um, there's also another piece to loyalty, the tactic side of it. It's more so people are loyal to the opportunities and resources that are that come with you, that access. Um, trust me, I know about that well too. <laughs> so, you know, uh, loyalty is one of those things of right now, I think about it from a different perspective. I had to mature, I had to grow. I had to get punched in my face plenty of times by life to learn the pattern of the punches to dodge, then to counter that shit. So, you know, that's one of the things you got to really do. And a big component to loyalty, love, etc. when it's failing, it's not toxic, it's not good. Ego. Untamed ego can screw people's perceptions of the world because it causes them to think that everything revolves around them. There's no actions. There's no repercussions uh, with what's going on with their life. Um, they expect others to give and give and give and give with no mutual return. And when you start enforcing boundaries, they start catching feelings. Oh, why are you acting funny? Like you was doing this before. Yeah, but what have you ever done for me, though? Love versus loyalty, right? So now we're going to move into the follower questions. Um, if y'all have any questions, uh, even after the live chat, please put them in the comments. We're going to keep the conversation going, keep it moving, because, you know, we got to be out here having these conversations, becoming the best versions of ourselves, you know, being loyal to ourselves and others, right? So first question comes from Sam from Perimeter Productions. Shout out to you. Um, her question is, how long do you wait for a person to get the act together? I know this very well right now, right? <laughs> so um, for me, um, I'm, a, I'm a baseball player. Played baseball for nine years out of my life. It's kind of nice, you know. They call me the Barry Bonds, the ball Barry Bonds and all that. But it's all good, though. You know, that's the past. But anyway, um, I think that it's important to give people three chances. Because, again, you may not know what you don't know. Cool. I'm going to give you that one time, right? Second time, you may forget. I, I give you that because my memory's trash. Third time, that's an instant violation. It's telling me that you do not take me seriously. Uh, you're not attempting to change. You're not attempting to pour positively into the relationship. So I always like to have a calm, mature conversation with a person. Um, I start with listen to understand, not to respond. Think three seconds before you respond to think, is this going to cause a, a positive uh movement to the conversation or is it just going to cause some bs some negativity whatever right so if you see that a person's not catching the conversation and you're do you're communicating efficiently and effectively then that's showing that's something wrong with them don't get it twisted like a lot of people think that oh there's something wrong with me they don't mess with me um because they're not making a change no some people just want to have stuff they way they want to be stuck they want to be stubborn they want to be selfish they want to have that false loyalty uh, and that BS form of love. So for me, it's like three strikes, you're out. And so sad, too bad, you know, because at the end of the day, your peace of mind is important. You want to keep peace outside. That's cool. But what about the peace that's within your mind? You know, so it's very important that you establish those boundaries and to really make sure you're putting yourself first when it comes to love and loyalty. So that is. You know, real quick talk, you know, that's what this is about. You know, it's a little, little bit. It gives you a little bit, right? But if you want more, of course, you can check out the Miseducation of the People podcast, which is a Real Talk Session series production. It's coming back, season two. I'm coming with some fire this time, you know. Um, we got the lives a little warm up. Um, also, if you want to see the more productive side, the production um, value the quality. I'm going to rerun this on Facebook and I'm going to have, you know, the whole graphics and all that good stuff. But again, Instagram is hating hardcore, but it's all good. Um, integrity over everything. It's important. This is what I live my life by. This is my code. This shirt will actually be added back to the merch store. Go to www.realtalksessionseries.org slash shop. The link is actually in the bio. So go ahead and make sure you check that out. Um, also, Juju Bay, you know, she out here helping the people out, getting your spirit right, cleansing, you know. Um, we have another collaboration next week um, for Hoodoo Education. Um, people say Hoodoo, or oh, they think, oh, it's evil, it's devil. No, it's not. Our ancestors got through 
all the BS that they went through by using this practice. It's nothing devilish about it. You need to decolonize your thoughts and get back into your history because it is black history. It is African history. So that's coming next week, you know, and it's a special episode for Minority Mental Health Month also. And make sure you join the VIP community via the link in my bio. Uh, I just heard the, the Baltimore come out. They were like, new to do. They be watching Hulu. But anyway, uh, you'll get an email and updates with discounts, new videos, and some other surprises. And we don't spam. We don't do that over here, right? So again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, you like it. I love it. Make sure you share. Leave the comments there. Subscribe to the YouTube. All that good stuff because we got some moves we're making. And thank you for tuning in to another real quick talk. Real Talk Session Series, The Revolution Will Be Digitized. All right, peace.